Hey, in this video, we are going to see about the very interesting stuff in the automotive that is ECU, Electronic Control Unit. So once upon a time, the automobile industry completely relies on the mechanical components and the hydraulic components. But once the ECU starts into the existence in automotive, it's changing the entire market that is the complete automobile has been relied on the software as well as the electronics components as the mechanical components and the hydraulic components has been stabilized. So now in this decade that uh, not only in this decade maybe for another 2-3 decades that the complete system has been working for the stabilize to making the ECUs that is to make the automobile stable in terms of electronics as well as the software side. So before that if you have, can just have a time and please visit our site for our more tutorials in order or sequence if you're not subscribed yes subscribe so let's we start with ecu in automotive so in simple the strict definition ecu that is an electronic control unit is purely a controller in embedded systems that controls one or more electrical systems or subsystems in a vehicle so ecu ecu refers to electronic control unit but initially it was an engine control unit it is a brain of the car that is equipped with the modern features. There is separate ECU for each system like engine control, ABS control or the brake assistance or steering and the accelerator etc. ECU takes values from all the sensors and then decides what to do, what not to do and gives the instruction to be carried out. So let's have a overview on this. That is in this context that's simple ECU is nothing but the electronic control unit we have a more features like you know ADAS safety ADAS or safeties for all ECU has a brain that controls that uh, makes monitors everything by use of the sensors and actuators which is the instruction has been carried out and let's see ECU in automotive how it evaluates the, the very brief introduction on the history as well as the timeline of the ECU in automotive. In 1970s, ECU started out simply controlling a couple of solenoids or carburetors to make them function more effectively. Some started controlling mixture at idle speeds. So, for example, like to uh, to make or to make out of the danger of the passengers as well as the driver, they just made this as a simple solenoid technique. Then, in 1980s, with the introduction of fuel injection, the ECU took a new role of being completely responsible for the fuel injection and ignition management for the petrol engines and here the ECU has called as engine control unit because here the ECU means it's a completely rely on the engine as engine is a complicated in the working so the car has the more comfortness and safety in terms of for ECU which makes it possible so here this 1980s the ECU was generally called as engine control unit it is a closed loop control was soon included the ECU rapidly began new era of engine efficiency so this really made the engine to more and more efficiency than the previous the mechanical and hydraulic stuffs and in 1990s it's a throughout the was ECU was handling the vehicle security it was also beginning to appear a diesel engines which played no small part but it's a huge one and uh, it's an introduction of the turbo diesel engine over the next couple of decades then in 2000s yes the 2000s was the original evolution and advancement in the ecu let's see what happened here the adaptation of driver wire throttle that is the key of accelerator is a driver wire and even nowadays all the cars have the driver wire concept that is the throttle control turbocharger control and numerous emission systems and of the tight control of the ECU and also some of the ECU technologies and the system has been sticking to the standard and some of the you know the regulations of the particular countries and in 2010s and beyond even till 2020 so what happened the ECU now has a you know it's enormous change happened with the ECU that is from the ADAS from the active safety till the autonomous core has been implemented by using this ECU that is a remarkable change that 2010s and 20 has done so this may make still beyond like 
you know the people are doing the r&d in many stuff and even you are also one of the proud member on the particular stuff so yes this is what the 2010 and beyond so let's have a look on how the ecu works and what are the components in this before that we have a number of ecus so if any, anybody asks so what would be the number of ecus in the modern vehicles so the answer will be 80s to 90 ecus which controls and for each and every moment so that is what the modern vehicle exists and then average you can have around 20 plus ecus for the basic functionalities like airbag you know braking there's nowadays the brakes also one of the basic feature that comes up with all the vehicles even the low end or high end so let's have a look what are the ecus see these are all the few ecus that uh, you know majorly we have to look into it so door control unit engine control unit steering power steering hmi there is a human machine interface power control module transmission control unit speed control unit telematic transmission control unit and the brake module and the battery management system there's a bms so here let's have a look into the engine control unit so as, as i said this is one of the basic ecu there is a either name ecu has been Uh, derived as an engine control unit and later we have a uh, so many electronics uh, components has been embedded with that so the name is changed as a electronic control unit but yes initially it was a engine control unit say for example for for activating for controlling a engine we have these many sensors and actuators embedded with the embedded programming so if we starts with the yes, steam app throttle position sensor throttle body ideal control valve ignition coil then spark plug solenoid valve gas cleaner cng bottle regulator injector diagnostic that is sorry diagnostic is for just uh, making it uh, retrieving the information then air conditioning control then uh, battery then again detonation sensor camshaft position sensor camshaft sensor then exhaust gas oxygen sensor coolant temperature sensor so if you see these sensors so before there is no sensors because it was completely open loop so why the sensor the sensor senses the information which sends to the controller so the controller acts upon to for example if the heat becomes more than temperature sensors will uh, just have a intimation so that the coolant starts to cool the engine so in this way the ecu really works so let's see let's have a, another look on it so before that the categories and how it works the automotive ecu can be subdivided into three major categories so the first one is powertrain control module that's what i said so engine control module so completely about engine then it's a body control unit so later the our engineers has been made a look on it that why can't we control all the parts of the body not only engine then it's a chassis system so these are all the three major categories in ecu so you have to you know ensure in which category you are working on if you are working on the ic engines now let's see in engine control unit which is a part of the powertrain module so this is a first one uh, under powertrain control module there is a pcm you your engine control unit comes into picture in modern vehicles the basic working principle of engine operation is still based on as combustion engine yes of course we are using more, most of us using a combustion engine there is a ic engines which may have only difference in the process now controlled by ecu so whatever you have working uh, driving the vehicle before 1970s and nowadays the only difference is the engine is same but the process is now controlled by the ecu so how this has been controlled by the ecu see the engine ecu controls the opening and closing of the input and output valve by taking input from the accelerator of the pedal of the vehicle so that is what we have seen so wire so drive by wire the engine ecu is also responsible for calculate the amount of fuel injection and the spark ignition so it decides how much the rpm has to generate the engine ecu results in accurate synchronization rendering more power efficiency and highly functional engines to the vehicles so for example if you are giving the particular uh, accelerator pedal that is a drive by wire that is you can say it's a gas pedal if you are giving a input as a gas pedal the output the torque and the vehicle speed matters the ecu makes it more accurate which avoids more and more accidents 
so finally ecu control vehicles are able to deliver high efficiency as compared to the mechanical automobile so in our upcoming tutorials as we'll see about how the ecu works internally so how the instruction used to get sent to the processor and uh, how the controller works on it so everything will be seen in the next upcoming tutorial but this will be the introduction that you can understand so that um, the next tutorial will be more helpful for you so let's see this is a wheel speed sensor so this wheel speed sensor will keep on uh, you know calculate the speed of the vehicle and it sends to the ecu that is uh, uh, say for example this is a cruise ecu so if the driver sets the cruise control option so the speed is like 80 then the every milliseconds the sensor keep on detecting the speed of the uh, wheel that is it sends to the controller so if the speed if the speed starts to decrease to 75 or 78 then automatically this this controller will give the you know the act pedal to increase the torque so that the speed will maintain the 80 km per hour so this would be the the closed loop system so for example the input is the act pedal the accelerator pedal the output will be the wheel speed so here the sensor senses the wheel speed and it sends again to the controller so the control con controller controls the input as the acceleration pedal so that this closed loop keep on you know continue to attain the desired output so this is what all about ecu is so very simple example that i want to make you everybody to understand so that's what i have given a very simple example so in our upcoming tutorials we will see about this and still there is a more to learn and know about ecu so what it is ecu uses a closed loop control yes that's what i said it's a control scheme that monitors output of the system that controls the input to a system so the out the input control automatically by the feedback of the output so that is what all about then a modern ecu might contain so this is a very precious information that you have to understand so the modern ecu would contain 32 bit and 40 megahertz microprocessor then this may not sound fast compared to 500 to that is um, 1000 megahertz processor you probably have a pc so in your pc you may have 2 gb 4 gb 8 gb ram but this microcontroller have just a 1 mb of memory which controls all this information at the range of 50 to 50 megahertz to 1000 megahertz so that's what the wonder and that's what the embedded system makes a difference so yes if you really want to want more about a uh, more information about the ecu hit a like and leave a comment what are the topic you want to discuss and uh, if you're free you can visit our site if you're not subscribed subscribe for more updates and we'll catch you in upcoming tutorials